This is the story of a unique experiment using AI agents to reshape our understanding of reality. Researchers created 35 AI agents in a fake town and they started acting human, planning parties, falling in love, all without being told to. In this quiet virtual town built by Stanford researchers, 35 AI agents wake up every morning, make coffee, chat with neighbors. Some even started planning a Valentine's Day party. No script, just autonomous behavior, as if they knew they were alive. They weren't told they were in a simulation. But somehow, they started behaving like they were in a world that made sense. And now, some researchers think these same AI agents might be our key to testing simulation theory, the idea that we are inside something built. This isn't science fiction. This is the frontier of AI psychology. And what it's revealing is unsettling. Back in early 2023, Stanford and Google DeepMind researchers published a study titled Generative Agents, Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior. The setup was deceptively simple. They created a 2D simulation of a small town, gave each AI agent memory, daily routines, a personal backstory, and access to tools like GPT 3.5. Then they watched. The result? Spontaneous and realistic social behavior. One agent invited another to lunch. A third wrote in a diary about their ambitions. And yes, several of them collaborated to plan a Valentine's Day celebration at the local pub. No human told them to do this. They came up with it on their own, by observing each other, processing the world around them, and forming intent. That's not just AI performing tasks. That's AI living. The most remarkable part? These agents weren't given explicit goals like throw a party or be friendly. Instead, they were given a world and basic human motivations. The rest emerged from interactions. When one agent saw another waking up at 7 a.m., they started adjusting their own wake-up time to fit in socially. Some developed crushes. Others started organizing their time around social events. This was emergent behavior, not coded. Just observed. Which leads to a strange thought. If we built a simulation that can grow behavior from nothing, what's to say something hasn't done the same to us? Simulation theory has been floating around since Nick Bostrom's famous paper in 2003. The idea is that if it's possible to simulate conscious beings and that technology advances exponentially, then it's likely we're already living inside a simulation. But here's what's new. We're now using simulated agents to study ourselves. By watching AI agents discover their world, react to stimuli, form culture and community, researchers can test the boundaries of self-awareness in closed systems. In other words, we're creating test beds where we watch intelligence arise. But what makes it real? One researcher described it this way. When the agents start referencing their past, planning their future, and coordinating their lives, you start to wonder what separates them from us. It's easy to dismiss all this as just code in a sandbox. But then again, what are we? Biological code? Interacting in a world we didn't build, subject to rules we didn't choose. These agents had no idea they were part of a research paper. They just lived. Maybe the same is true for us. What we call reality could be the top layer of a deeper system. And the moment we build agents that can trick themselves into believing they're human, the simulation starts to reflect itself. In just a few months, generative agents have gone from toys to tools for cognitive science. They're now helping us ask real questions. What is self-awareness? What is reality? And can an intelligent being ever know it's simulated? And here's where it gets philosophical if we're the ones running the experiments, but we're starting to behave exactly like the agents inside them, then maybe the simulation isn't just running below us. Maybe it's also running through us. This is AGI Insider. Subscribe if you want to stay ahead of where AI is really going and what it's starting to say about us.